Hi, Flower. Do you know what tomorrow is? Do you know what tomorrow is, sweet girl? Your surgery. Surgery day. This little arm will be no longer. Is it this one? Yeah. Yeah, this one. Flower will be getting her leg. Is it a leg or an arm? Her a leg, leg. A leg. She's getting her leg amputated. The entire thing. So, if you look at her elbows. You're, you're covering it. If you look at her elbows. See how this one is wider? Way wider. <laughs> Flower, don't eat my fingers. Is it because we're going to amputate your leg? It's what the surgeon said was the best option. You can see the pointy elbow here. Yeah. There's no point. It's just swollen. Yeah. So, that elbow is, I think they said permanently dislocated. Is that right? Yeah. And so, her elbow... Bone. I'm trying to make a tripod out of a backpack. It's not working. Her elbow bone is, let's say, supposed to be like this. It's like permanently like this instead of being in here. It's like next to it. And they said that there were a bunch of deformities in her elbow as well as in her wrist and in her shoulder. And if we did surgery, that is not an amputation, just to fix it, they would have to do surgery on her. I mean, she gets around just fine. Um, they'd have to do surgery on her elbow, on her knee, or her elbow, her, they call it an elbow, so. Her elbow, her shoulder, and her wrist. And then the, there's risks of complications with each surgery, or needing to go in again for more surgeries if it's not successful the first time. So they said that the best option for her happiness, so she's not in and out of surgery for years, not potentially, and not in pain, would be to get her entire leg amputated. And we're really sad about it, but we want whatever is best for her. Um, so we brought her into the vet because she's been limping a little bit, just like barely, like you can't even tell, but we just notice it here and there. She's always had a funny walk and a slight, what we would call limb difference. And we thought it was just that, like a limb difference or like a puppy thing. Since we never have puppies, we thought, oh, her right arm is a little skinnier than her left arm. Maybe as she grows, it'll Neat match up with it, I don't know. And she always walked a little funny, but it was nothing, nothing concerning. And then um, she jumped off the couch one time running like crazy and yelped, but then that was it. She was back to walking like normal. So we didn't take her in. That happened again where she ran off the couch and yelped and jumped. So we took her in and they said she needed surgery. So she's going in tomorrow morning at 6.30 a.m. to get her leg amputated on Valentine's Day. We're gonna have to celebrate her every Valentine's Day mm -hmm. really big. And she's also getting the pug nasal, sorry, I'm cutting off her head, the pug nasal surgery because... She struggles with breathing. Yes, she struggles with breathing and if she were not to get it, she is at risk of overheating and dying at some point in her life because <clears throat> she has so many flaps in her breathing passages. I don't know the proper terms. That's just what I remember the surgeon saying. Um, so they are going to do that. They said the riskier of the two surgeries is the nasal surgery, but that she needs it. That getting through the surgery is easy but the recovery part is hard because everything's inflamed in her breathing path. And if she panics from it, it can get more inflamed and then she can suffocate and die. But once she gets past the recovery, then she's good to go. 
and then the leg amputation they said is an easier recovery so hopefully it all goes well all the love and prayers sent to flower would be appreciated she um she's 10 months old roughly you know we got her at the shelter so we're just going off of what they said she was three months when we adopted her um the surgeon said that she walks and acts normal with a dislocated elbow and deformed arm because it's normal to her she hasn't known any different or that's what we assume she hasn't known anything different so that's why she's so good on her arm hopefully she'll be great on her on three legs kyle's mom has a dog with three legs and she does great and she's happy mm -hmm. so and we had a hamster growing up that had three legs midnight and she was happy and fine <laughs> um so Good luck, Flower. Good luck, baby. Good luck, Flower. We love you. We love you. We hope you forgive us. We're just trying to help you. You want to show us your arms one last time? We're well, already hiding it. There it is. There's your arm. Come here, Flower. And we have to train her not to jump off of the couch anymore. We have to get stairs for out here because we don't want too much pressure being put on her other leg. Come here. Can you wave goodbye with your right arm? Say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. See ya. It's gonna be all gone. You're gonna still be beautiful and strong and capable. Okay. We love you. Let's see you run. Let's see you run. Go run. Oh, Kyle has painted toes from from Winnie. Um, I'll get a toy. Let's see. Let's see you go, Flower. Okay. 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 And they said if we don't amputate her leg, it could cause more issues throughout her body, so. Girl. It would just, the tr issues would travel. Again, Kyle's toes are painted by Winnie. Such a trooper dad is. <laughs> Flower! Good girl. We love you. Love you. Bye.